Hi, my name is Don Hopkins, and I'm going to demonstrate some tools for making objects for The Sims. The Sims Transmogrifier is one tool that lets you clone an object and then export its graphics, change them, and import them back. But I've made a tool called Rugomatic that is even easier to use because all you have to do is drag and drop text and pictures into Rugomatic. So I'll take the title that I want to call my object Earth and just drag it in to that field. And then I'll take the description of my object. I'm going to make a carpet that looks like the Earth. And it says the Apollo spacecraft reached Earth parking orbit after 11 minutes. Now I've set the description. Now I'm going to take this picture and I'm just going to drag it into Rugomatic. And it's going to load that web file. And we will zoom in to see that I can set the rug name, the price, the description, and the rug style. And there's several different rug styles available. You can make, uh, you know, a two by one, a two by two, a two by three, a three by three. And I'm making uh, different templates that you can put in to make different types of rugs. So then, when you've configured it, you just hit weave rug, and it runs Transmogrifier and does all the hard work of doing all those rotations and all those zooms and breaking it up into tiles for you. And then it seams it back together and puts in your description. And then it makes a web page that describes your object for you. So in that web page has a little illustration and the description of the price and then a link to that object. So this is really good when you make a lot of objects because you tend to lose track of them and you need a way to look at them and see what they are. So here's all my uh, things. Each one of these has a, a, a little web page describing it. This is uh, the water. This is a picture taken by the high resolution stereo camera. And uh, so basically for every web thing that you make you get a web page about it and you can use that to upload to the web. And uh, now here's a really great way to display them. This is just a little snapshot. But if you want to look at a live Sims object on the screen without having to start the Sims or Transmogrifier, you can just drag and drop into this thing called Show and Tell. So Show and Tell is an ActiveX control for looking at Sims objects. So I'll just take this orangutan and drag it into there. And it tells me about it, price 100 simoleons and the great thing is that the zooms are there and the rotations are here and you can just look at all your rotations and zooms and see what the object looks like and uh, so that's like a little live web page um, and anyway uh, one of the things when you get a lot of objects that you download this is great for finding out what they are and looking at them and a lot of the neat things about the objects in The Sims are the descriptions. Some of them have very interesting descriptions, but a lot of people don't take the time to read them. Now, here's a little utility that helps you with Sims objects, um, helps you keep track of them. It's called Simplifier, and I'll zoom out, and then... And here is Simplifier. And what it does, it acts like a magnifying glass when nothing interesting is happening and that's that's useful but uh, we will start the game again and see I can see close up now when I go into buy mode and go look at an object here maybe one of the electronic objects if I press and hold Monorail wrote a great fun for the whole family Imagine a miniature world of houses, neighborhoods, and people that submit to your every women house scale. The OCD system allows for what it does. It reads the text off the screen, and it makes it into this text that you can search, and makes a catalog of all your objects. And then it can send that to the speech synthesizer, so it can recognize what these objects are by reading their text. And if you just click and hold. Hoods got a habit. Play them. It's a habit. Hoods are all screaming for the engineer train set this year. And if you click on something else, it'll just interrupt it. See. Some of the some of the descriptions of these objects. Not every sim is a painful. 
direct mankind back from Earth's first mission to the Red Planet, launch rockets and deploy robot probes, deploy teams to search for alien resources, establish and run a network of specialized colonies to create a self-sufficient civilization, provide your colony with food, shelter, and power, fast, furious, and an alien pumping action. Now there's all these rugs that I made. For example... This image is the latest color-corrected postcard from Mars. It was taken by the panoramic camera on the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit and looks to the north. 3 of 3. HTTP colon slash slash marsroverspjblnasagov slash gallery slash press slash spirit slash 24108A slash sealer underscore panorama underscore sol 6A6R1 underscore BR.APG. Now the cool thing is that this can make those URLs be real links. And people who have Sims websites like to be able to identify their objects and bring people back to where they are, where they came from. So for example, here's a here's a neat downloadable object. Um, this is called Sim Slice, the power plant. Slice city, the other city that never sleeps. Buy this city power plant and start your new city today. Only buy one power plant per lot, that is very important. Click on info, for a brief game summary, read the readme, file with the download or visit Sim Slice for details. This is version 1.2. Please delete any prior versions before using Made slash hacked by homes visit simslice http colon slash slash www.simslice.com Please don't copy, clone, hack, distribute to others or post on other sites. Thank you and enjoy. Okay. What this is is SimCity within the Sims. And the people are kind of like cockroaches. But they come out of the buildings. And the buildings are kind of like plants. Like you have to maintain them like this. But, uh, but... They have some other things, like you can rampage them, or you can just hang out with them. And uh, if your city does well, here I'm going to make time go really fast, you can just hang out and refurbish things, and then you'll get more buildings. So the uh, this power plant here, you can go into build mode and move the power plant around. Like Let's bring it over here so it doesn't pollute so much. And then uh, you can move your buildings... We can put one of them on Mars. And uh, I kind of like the uh, train set with the thing. But anyway, it is a Sims object that spawns other Sims objects as it grows. So kind of like a plant that spreads, but a little more urban. So... Oh, of course, in order to be like SimCity, you have to have disasters. So, that's what this menu is for. <coughs> Make disaster. The best one's the tornado. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Ah, so, okay, so... Basically, this tornado is just another Sims object. It just spawned, but it has a slightly different behavior. And, uh... Whoa. Ah, so he's trying to clean up behind the tornado. And it's heading over, uh... I could say, put the, uh... Put this thing in its way. In the way of danger. See if that'll stop it. Oh, it stopped it. Lucky. Well, let's see if... Let's have a flood first. Oh, oh. And then a fire. Flood's a big thing for these cities. I mean, this is like... This is like Venice. Of another flood, I think. The thing I like about floods is that they just get bigger. Stop worrying about the fire and go make a flood. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, more flood. Don't worry. The flow! It's Flag Day! Vexologists all over the Rejoice. You gain $100. See, it can be profitable having a, a like a pet city. Another fire. All right. All right. Oh! Oh! Oh dear.
this can be very dangerous. Oh! Oh, there's death. There he is. So I may have a chance. Rest in peace. Oh, no. Let's see if the fireman can... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, everything's spreading. So the fires are sort of like a cellular automata, almost. They're just these objects that uh, spawn other fires. And eventually die down. But, uh, well, there's not a lot to do now. Anyway, uh, that's... That's The Sims.